Hello, this is James from the PlayStation Blog. I'm here with John from Ben Studios. We're here to talk about what was previously known as Uncharted NGP, but we now know is called Uncharted Golden Abyss. So, first of all, tell us the, the overarching premise of, of this new Uncharted title. Well, uh, the, the start with the title, Golden Abyss. So we wanted to come up with an all-new story, and we, you know, we didn't want it to be a sequel or a direct prequel to Gold, you know, to uh, to uh, Drake's Fortune or or Among Thieves. So, you know, we worked with the guys at Naughty Dog, pitched some story ideas. We spent about six months actually really working on story ideas because story is so important to the franchise. And we managed to come up with something that everyone kind of liked, and it's a standalone story that takes place before Drake's Fortune. Although you do learn some some really cool things about the main character, that kind of sets up you know where he ends up in uh, later games. So um, you, you said earlier that it's it's set before the original uh, uh, Uncharted, but it's it's not a prequel. So so how, how can that be? Well, I think that's an important distinction because you know you you can pick up the game and play it without knowing anything about the Uncharted universe, and I think that's really important for for new players. And you know if we call it a prequel, then that kind of sets up the expectation that maybe you find out you know how he and Elena got on this boat and where the pirates are coming from and all that. And it's like you know our story is not about that. It's an all new story. It's got all new characters. If you've uh, played the demo for the first level of the game, for example, you meet Jason Dante, who's this new character. He obviously knows Drake for a long time. I mean, he knows Sully for a long time as well. So, you know, we're sort of bringing, you know, some depth to the character uh, in his past relationships and kind of like, you know, how he got to be a treasure hunter and, and you know, how that was all sort of came about. For you, what are the essential ingredients um, in an Uncharted title? Well, the most important thing is, I think, again, story, because uh, that's what I'm most heavily involved in. But, you know, I, it's like starting with a historical mystery. And I think that's one of the things that uh, sets Nathan Drake apart from other action heroes is that he's he's a real person. He's you know he can't he has no superpowers and he's not a two-fisted gun runner or any anything like that. He kind of gets through things by the seat of his pants. But starting with that historical mystery, I think, is really important. And we and you know we have a really good one, uh, which we're going to go into more detail about later on. But it's you know it's like Drake, you know, it's set in Central America, and Drake is you know. On, on the on the hunt for a, you know a, a treasure that everyone's going to have heard of and then you know what he finds when he actually gets to the end of the road is going to be a surprise mm -hmm. uh, Ben you guys have worked on existing series before franchises before with resistance um, how do you strike the balance between sticking with the canon but also kind of putting your own stamp on it if you like you know, that's always a challenge, and I think that, uh, you know, what we did with Resistance is we were able to create an all-new character, James Grayson, and told kind of a side story. So, you know, this is the first time we've taken a marquee character like Nathan Drake and tried to tell a story that, you know, that if you're an Uncharted fan, you'll be able to just pick it up and, you know, understand, hey, no, this is Nathan Drake, and this is awesome. So, you know, we had to work really closely with Naughty Dog to make sure that could happen, you know, not just on the story and the script, but on things like animation. So we have, uh, you know, the Naughty Dog library of animations from Uncharted 1 and 2, and we're talking about a lot of animation here, like 3,000 plus animations to make Drake move the way you're used to seeing him move. That's how we get it to be super authentic. And uh, have you made any... Do you feel there's any need to sort of change the gameplay in any way to make it more suited to portable play? Because it's the first portable Uncharted game as well. Well, we always try to do that. So, you know, we want to build a game that's right for the platform. And so I think the things that, that translate regardless of how you're playing is the cinematics and the story and the characters. That's all going to be at the same level of quality and the same kind of theme and style that you're used to for PS3. Because, you know, I think that stuff translates no matter, you know, no matter what platform you're playing it on. Um, but, you know, even there, we're able to do things like, you know, we have, you know, again, if you played that opening, that opening level, there's this sort of banter going on between Drake and Dante that's, you know, a little more intimate and, you know, you know maybe a little slower pace than what you would find on the PS3 where you want to get instantly into the big screen action. And so, you know, we focus more for the, for the handheld. We're, we're focusing more on puzzles and puzzle solving uh, along with, you know, the core pillars of the gameplay, which is the combat and the traversal. And then for us, it's about integrating the PS3 controls with the two sticks, you know, which I'm happy to report that, that uh, the NGP supports you know, just traditional console gameplay with that second stick. I mean, that's, I can't emphasize enough how important that is. But combining that with things like the touch and the rear touch and the, you know, the motion controls and the, and the cameras, I think is a, a way to really sort of put our spin on the gameplay without making it too different than what they're used to. 
personally, which which of those features you mentioned, the tilt, the two sticks, the touchscreen, which of them kind of most excites you as a developer? Well, I think for me as a developer, I you know, the five inch OLED screen is just magnificent. If you guys haven't seen that, I mean, watching it on a web blog or watching it, you know, even video, uh, just doesn't do it justice because the technical properties of this screen are such that if you're not seeing it live, you're really not experiencing what this, you know, what everybody's talking about because it's four times the resolution, but it's more about the contrast ratio and just how crystal, crystal clear everything is. So, you know, that with a combination of the two sticks, and I think the front touch is my own personal favorite just because it makes designing gameplay so intuitive. So, for example, um, one of the things I've always had trouble with in shooters is throwing grenades. Uh, because you have to like use the left stick to move the camera and in this one you just basically put your thumb on the grenade icon drag it over to where you you know and a little arch appears and you can just drag the target where you want it to go and I'm throwing grenades for the first time in a shooter as a player accurately and you know really effectively and I think that would have been impossible without the touch and finally um, for those Uncharted fans out there and I can assure you there are a lot of them on the uh, who read the blog um, what's going to surprise them most about about the, the, this this new NGP title, I you know I think that uh, what's going to surprise the most is that you can get this kind of entertainment on a portable device because we, I mean we have the same production values and we you know it's like almost no cost has been spared to bring you know the same kind of experience that they're used to and so for example when they you know when they see Nathan Drake and you know they hear him talking and they hear him interacting with the other characters you know we use the same mocap studio that Naughty Dog uses and we use the same soundstage and you know the same level of script control so that you know they really do get an uncharted experience they're going to be hopefully they'll be sucked right in and not look back thank you for your time you're welcome